That back doesn't look big enough. Oh, actually, the, the race day quads bag doesn't look that big, but it can actually fit a lot of stuff in there. John here, guys, and today we're talking about the race day quads backpack. You know, I've just personally been looking for a backpack solution for the last year or so. I have a couple other ones in for review, the traditional low pro style, big drone guard things, but I just really don't like those. You know, I used to use really big packs uh, back in my indie film days. I had a really large burden one that was absolutely cavernous. But what I didn't like about those is one, you look like a kid showing up for kindergarten nap time using your older brother's backpack when you cart something so large around. Two, it's really obvious that you're loaded up to the gills with gear in there. Something I don't really like advertising when I'm just walking around. And I really just wanted something of a normal size. Now, if you've seen me at a race, you know that I normally have a rolling cart that I bring around with me with all the stuff that I have, all my spares, all my things to repair throughout the day to get me through a full day or a full weekend of racing. But nowadays with the racing season almost effectively canceled, I've been doing a lot of freestyle or just going out to get a few packs on gates for just a few hours and that big thing becomes just a bit of overkill. I wanted something more of a regular pack size and I really just haven't been able to find it in over a year of looking. And when the Race Day Quad Steve came out with this, I thought I'd give it a shot and after using it for over a month now, it really is kind of that special mix that doesn't overload you with size. But despite its small overall footprint, you actually can fit just about everything you need for multiple outings to be able to do field repairs. There's a lot of thoughtful things in here, so let's check it out. So we can see here on the bench, this can hold up a whole lot of stuff. I really like that you have these configurable strap things. So if you begin to take off sections right here, you can tell that this very quickly turns into just a regular old backpack. So if you're running micros um, and you just don't want it to be completely visible that you have a bag loaded up with gear, it very quickly turns into just that. These type of things do run all the way around the pack on the sides as well, on the arm straps. Of course, there's also clips such as right here, so you can attach other little micros like this three inch Acrobat like I've done to the front of the quad. So you can really load this up with a number of quads. You can also attach things to the side like this launch pad that I printed out in my Ender 3. So now you have the pack itself. I really enjoy that the zippers have these very quick zip style things that it's very easy to see where the zippers are. As you can see here, that you have this top compartment right here that is clear. So you, know, you can put props in here, tools, spares, and it's very quickly to see at a glance what you have in there. There's multiple rows in here for drivers, soldering iron, solder, grips, cables. It comes with this battery bag right here. Um, that you could put other tools in there as well. There's another little compartment in here that you could put some other little small items, cables, whatnot. And I like that if you did end up carrying a lot of stuff, you have a little strap right here that you can use to carry this. Next up, we're gonna go into this small compartment up here. I really like this. This can be used to store small little tools, spares, hardware but I like that it has this little tray that can come out. I went ahead and put a few action cameras in here, but you can set this up on the bench while you're working, doing a field repair, taking off screws of your top plate in order to replace a camera or an antenna. You can put the spares in here so that they don't go falling away somewhere um, as you're working and then put them all back. And then when you're done, it just goes right back in there. If you open up the main compartment, this front two sections come off like that. And then you have a number of these clear sections. Again, like 
They're making everything clearly visible and accessible so that you don't have to continue hunting. A lot of the things that can happen when you get a bag that has so many compartments is you kind of forget where things are and you're always looking around. This means you don't have to actually open up and look. I can see right here that I have spare straps, some micro size props up here. And here I got spare cameras and this micro ISDT charger. The main compartment has two zips that folds away. And this is the config configurable section. I've set mine up to have the radio over here and I included this little piece in order to hold it down in place. Notice how I have my crossfire module and 900 megahertz antenna that just stays on there. Don't even have to take it off because I have enough room right here. And this little thing holds it in place to keep the switches safe. I can fit a set of fat shark goggles in this compartment right here that I've made. I can fit my DAJI goggles right here with the digi adapter faceplate installed fits no problem. I can fit that with all of the antennas on here. Don't have to remove them because it is nice and soft on the top and the bottom. Just put those in there again carefully. Yeah, I'm good to go and I put this little Velcro part on top in order to keep the soft part safe. Now I can move this around. I can move this here without having to pull it off. And now I have the perfect shape for my Hota charger if I wanted to take that along with me, or I could put a variety of other different spares in here. This goes back into place and this holds everything securely. You notice that there was a lot of attention to the engineering given to this, the handle that they know can amass a quite a bit of weight. It's nice and thick and soft to be comfortable if you're toting it around like this. The straps themselves have a good amount of foam right here. There's also some foam right here for the shoulders and a little bit of lumbar support should you really load this up with some weight. It's gonna be quite comfortable in order to carry with you check out how all of these little areas have those little strap things so you can attach one if you want to keep the straps connected together there is essentially no wasted space throughout here you have these side pockets right here that could hold a tripod or the longer piece of equipment low pro right here now look at the difference in size and shape so this low pro it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit thicker and this cannot compress if you don't have this thing totally full you can actually you know reduce it all the way down the the thick part is this width right here which is about four inches whereas this one's closer to like nine or ten inches this one is pretty versatile and i'll have a full review of this out pretty soon but as you can see it does not have these things going around the outside so there's a lot of wasted space here while it does have a lot of nice compartments in here i feel like there's a lot of wasted space here as well you see how tall these sections are when you use those giant packs it makes you kind of look like lenny kravitz with the giant scarf and i just didn't want to look like that if you don't have any quad strap to this this could easily pass for your normal gen sport walking through Halls on the way to detention, uh, but I really do like this option. It meets all of my needs, and so I'm probably gonna keep this around for a while. If you're looking for a backpack solution that doesn't break the bank, that checks off all the boxes, go ahead and check this one out. I just, it didn't really sit well with me. Some of the bags that are like $200 or more, you know, if it costs the same amount, I might as well just buy another bind and fly and buy a whole new quad and just carry my stuff around in a grocery bag. This lets you keep that grocery bag at home and carry all your stuff. Thanks guys. Where's your mask? Um, when you guys said mask, I thought you meant like mask.